Hello, 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 everybody! My name is Jurassic Attic, and welcome to Jurassic News! On today's topics, we're going to quickly discuss about the new Jurassic World Dominion Wave 2 toys. We're going to go over some new things that are found at San Diego Comic Con. And bizarre uh, three packs that are apparently coming out. And new concert art and behind the scenes. So, without further ado, let's get started with the new Wave 2 of the Jurassic World Dominion and Legacy toy line. Starting with the Sarah Harding... Um, three pack. Uh, a few place, p places in, in America, uh, the Sarah Harding pack has already came out in a few targets, and alongside with the three with the three pack has uh, is the new wave two dinosaurs, which is the Amphilosaurus, Nasidoceratops, Juvenile, and much much more. So if you're out over there in Target, Walmart, or any other stores here in the U.S. Good luck and happy hunting. And as for you folks that got it early over there in the other side of the world, we're not jealous. We're not jealous at all. At least we get the exclusives. <laughs> anyway, now moving on to some of the Comic-Con stuff. I already, I already touched upon some of the new announcements, which was the new Ellie Sattler um, Hammond Collection figure, the new... Uh, Dilophosaurus and a few others that were shown at Comic-Con. But what I really, really want to touch upon is that apparently the new Jurassic World Dominion Tamagotchi figures were found at Comic-Con. Um, uh, I'm not sure if these will actually be in the U.S., but the Tamagotchi things have been found in Target. I've seen the Demon Slayer ones. I've seen some Dragon Ball ones. So if you are looking for the Tamagotchi and don't want to pay like $30 for a little $15 uh, video, is it a, what do you think? Is it a video game? Video game toy. Uh, I would I would actually wait a little bit to see if Target stocks them because the packaging is all in English and I don't see any um, Japanese writing on it. So this makes me think that there will be an American release for the Jurassic World uh, Dominion Tamagotchi figures, which makes me very, very happy because these things look absolutely adorable. Moving on is basically a toy line for the rich, and it is the new Jurassic Park and Jurassic World statue collections. Um, these have been announced. These have been announced a while ago, but due to the pandemic and other little shenanigans, they have been delayed. But now. Thanks to my friend Sekel Kala, we have pictures of the of the new Jurassic World and Jurassic Park statues. I forgot who made these exactly, but the name should be right there on the on the screen for a few seconds. But I just want to say these look absolutely fantastic. These these statues are honestly a work of freaking art. Like at the moment, I really cannot afford them unless you subscribe and like and, you know, make me money. <laughs> um, but I would really one day want to buy one of these. The one that really has my attention is the Fallen Kingdom Blue and Ford Explorer statue. That one looks absolutely fantastic. I love the little compies coming out of the Explorer door. And another one that really has my uh, attention is the Dilophosaurus and Nedry statue. It really captures the scene of the, of the first Jurassic Park movie perfectly on how the Dilophosaurus killed Nedry. And again, it's a work of art. And look at the Tiger Raptor. Woo! Looking very nice. But I approve very nice. Now, moving on, uh, we go to... Really want to quickly talk about this bizarre Jurassic World Dominion 3 pack. Now, um, when it comes to repaints and packs, uh, I'm fine. But this one's bizarre because it's just a repack of the Yang Chingasaurus Velociraptor Blue basic figure, another Owen, and the bike that came with the Extreme Damage Baryonyx set for Dino Rivals. The reason why I call this bizarre is because all these figures are straight up repacks. There's no different paint. There's no different um, mold for them. So 
it's just a repack of a couple of shelf warmers. Except for um, Owen and... Yeah, except for Owen. But in my area, Blue and the Yangchingosaurus are shelf warming hard. So I really do not think it's a good idea for Mattel to release this three pack. I would honestly cancel it and re-release it somewhere down the line and give it different colors. At least give the Yangchingosaurus a different color. Because honestly, I think that figure is super, super underrated. And I am, I will literally make a video about it on why I think of that um, maybe a few weeks down the line. But it is such an underrated figure. But really, just to repack? Like, it really makes no sense. I don't know why they're doing this. But maybe it's because the holiday season is out and the and packs like these do tend to sell well. So it's just giving the Yang Chingosaurus and Velociraptor Blue a second chance in the market. So maybe that's why they're doing it. But personally, I will not be getting it because I already have all these figures. So I have no reason to get this pack. But hey, if you missed out on the Yang Chingosaurus and don't have Owen's futuristic bike from Dino Rivals, um, pick it up, honestly, because I'm guessing it's probably going to be like $40. And $40 for all this is really not a bad deal. Next up is we have new images of upcoming extreme damage uh, figures. I do not know where these come from. So if these are leaks, Mattel, please don't kill me. But we have the extreme damage Ginodectosaurus. I have never heard of that damn dinosaur. So I don't know how to pronounce it. So sorry if I butchered the name, but there it is. Honestly, it, look at, it kind of reminds me of the Proceratosaurus from uh, Walking with Dinosaurs. I don't know why it looks nothing like it, but it kind of does just by the coloring and a few aspects. But it's a neat little figure. It looks, well, like I just said, it looks neat. And I will probably most likely pick it up. Next thing we have is one that makes me very, very happy. And it's for the fact that a Trociraptor Tiger will be a, getting a standalone figure release. This makes me happy because that doesn't mean I don't have to pay like 80 to 70 bucks for um, a three pack just to get Tiger. Don't get me wrong, the three pack looks cool for the Alberto Soros and, ti and Tiger. But I absolutely hate the way the Spinosaurus looks like. It looks like doo doo. That is one big pile of shit. It just looks like it's just covered in doo doo. So, I do not like the Spinosaurus. It looks absolutely atrocious. Um, but I'm glad that Tiger is getting a separate release. It's a shame that the um, that the Albertosaurus probably won't get a separate release because that one also looks pretty cool. Like the way the black and the white shading looks like it's covered in snow. It's unfortunate that it probably won't get a separate release, but hey, you never know what's going to happen. Next, we have some new figures that were announced during Comic-Con, and this is for the upcoming toy line of Dino Trackers. Some of this I've already mentioned um, vividly, and the, the ones I've been mentioning were the Dryptosaurus, um, Elasmosaurus, and Schwanchanosaurus. But the one that that was not in the leak that I saw was Giant Spinosaurus. Um, I'm glad. I think this is a re-release of the Primal. I forgot the name of the previous toy line that was that came before Dino Escape. But I think that dinosaur was part of it, and it was like almost impossible to find. It was almost impossible. A lot of the Wave 2 of the Primal toy line and Dino Escape have been impossible to find here in my area. So I'm glad that we're getting a second chance to get uh, the Stegosaurid. And also Dryptosaurus looks absolutely cool. The one that has my most attention actually is the Elasmosaurus because if you notice it has like a little strap on it, basically kind of like what dolphins have when they work with the Marines. So that's very interesting and it makes me wonder uh, what else we're going to get for this toy line. And 
I hope we get an, uh, another shot on the Raptor squad because I would like them to have like the little visors that they had in the movie. And also, give us another echo. Rant aside, um, I'm very excited for the new Dino Tracker toy line. From what I've seen with the leaks and um, very, very blurry fi pictures, it looks very promising and I'm very, very excited. And now for our final segment of the Jurassic News, is that we have some new behind the scenes images and concert art for both Dominion and Camp Cretaceous Season 5. And I want to start with the best one, and that is the new um, behind the scenes images for the Giganotosaurus animatronic. And oh my lord, looking good. The Giganotosaurus looks absolutely freaking fantastic. You can really see the detail on the animal. And you, we can finally have a clear, clear image on how it was colored without being like consumed by darkness and fire or just like a very or basically the a very shadowy silhouette because it, it's always in the shadows it's so we never really get a clear shot of the giganotosaurus but now we finally have a clear shot of the giganotosaurus and we can see that it has like it's not even green at all like 90 percent of the merchandise has it it's more like um it's more like a chocolate, uh, like light chocolate brown with like a blackish brownish stripes. And that looks so freaking dope. And just everything about the animatronic looks absolutely freaking fantastic. Like you can see all the scars, the, all the detail they put it. Man, it looks absolutely great. It's a shame it, it was barely in the movie. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to Camp Cretaceous. We have some concept art of the grown-up um, campers. Well, not grown-up. It's like more the campers three years later. Um, and basically what they are, it, they, they, did not, they didn't even change um, like their faces. The only thing that they change is their hairstyle. And so we have Kenji right there with poofier hair. Uh, we have Brooklyn with a tomboy haircut. Um, Sammy is literally the exact same hair that she's had for the past three seasons. And Yasmina has her hair loose now. And next up, we have Dotson, which looks exactly like the actor from Dominion, which is pretty cool. Then we have Ben over here. And um, basically, um, his fully grown version of him with a mullet and everything. Then we have um, some concept art of the Sino Spino. And it, it's a, just a little chunky boy. It looks absolutely adorable. Really not much different from the final design apart from a few color changes. Um, so really really not much to talk about because unlike like uh, some of the other constant arts, for example, for like Scorpius Rex or the Endoraptor or other hybrids, um, the Sinospino, look, in, so far every image looks exactly the same. So really not much to talk about here. Uh, same thing goes for the Novasaurus. It's really somewhat accurate to the real deal. Obviously, they took liberties in a few aspects, but it still looks pretty damn good. Uh, but again, really not much to talk about besides that the alternate color version was brown instead of blue. Honestly, I'm glad that they went with the blue because it's more fitting for an aquatic creature because like you have like a dark coloring on the on its back and light on the bottom. So when it's stalking its prey, they won't see it from the bottom or from the top because it camouflages with the water. So the blue and black makes sense with the white underbelly. Uh, next, we have Pierce, the, the I almost call it Stegosaurus, <laughs> um, Cantrosaurus. And um, again, just like the Sinospino, the only difference is, is some of the coloring and um, I'm guessing that Mattel um, based its coloring more on the second option if, you, if it's on the screen. And so, yeah, I kind of like the, the fourth option, which is like this giraffe pattern. It looks pretty, pretty cool, but I'm kind of I'm happy with the final design that they went with because um, it looks pretty cool. It's eye catching and all in all, this is Cantrosaurus is cool. Then we have like an alternate 
um, design for him, which is it's a sick version slash like when it's in like in the snow. And it's basically the same colors, but a bit more muted because like he's sick. And when animals become sick, they, they're like their color and everything just become more muted and looks all sickly. Kind of like when us humans, we look pale and white when we're sick. So there's that. We also have like reference images of sick animals and sick humans. So really, really cool that they, they took real uh, world examples from sick animals and humans for Cantosaurus. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty much it. Never mind. I completely forgot about to, to talk about the Brads. <laughs> Everyone's favorite. Now, um, I want to start with the good which is the regular brads i like the, the direction they went they went with the regular brads because one it's grounded and realistic these brads i have no issue with um i really like the design of the of the third alternate design it just looks super super cool like it's still grounded but also looks super freaking sci-fi and i really really like it um but yeah that that's the regular brad now for brad x um, apparently, according to one of the artists, they said that this was Trevorrow's idea. And, and, I'm, and I'm just speechless, because really, this was his idea? <sighs> you guys already know my thoughts on the Brad X, and you saw my uh, review for season 5 of Camp Cretaceous. Really not a big fan. And literally, one of the concert arts for Brad X it's literally just a Mecha Godzilla without its spikes. Like, you cannot change my mind on that. It is just Mecha Godzilla without spikes. So, yeah, there's that. Now, before we end the video, um, I, I want to get to what you guys have been waiting for. And that is the winner of the giveaway. Well... Hold on to your butts because the winner of the Jurassic World Dominion Atrocity Raptor Rampage Pack is Mimic Productions is the winner of the Jurassic World Dominion Atrocity Raptor Rampage Set. Congratulations, my friend. You have 24 hours after this announcement to claim your prize. Now come in, come in and swoop by before someone else steals it. Anyway, that has been the weekly Jurassic News. I'll see you all on Friday. Adios!